The story of women's progress toward equality is a remarkable one, and AAUW has played an important role in every chapter. Together, as one AAUW, we have worked tirelessly so that women and girls could gain more choices and opportunities. Research, advocacy, education, leadership. All are part of the one AAUW. The work of each not only drives the work of the others, it also inspires further creation and innovation. AAUW's first research report, released in 1888, dispelled the then commonly held theory that higher education was detrimental for women's health and led to infertility. AAUW has never been afraid to tackle the difficult issues of the day, providing not only an overview of the problem, but also the solution. This year we'll see AAUW's research once again shaping national conversation. New ways that one AAUW will make a difference in the lives of women and girls. Solving the Equation takes a deeper dive into the work of its predecessor, Why So Few? Women in Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Of these fields, there are two with the highest number of well-paying jobs, yet the fewest number of women represented, Engineering and Computing. But research only matters if something is done with the results. As one AAUW, we are poised to do just that with members and branches throughout the country bringing about change on the grassroots level, a powerful advocacy presence in Washington, D.C., and in state houses nationwide, AAUW is the voice for women's empowerment in America today. This important part of the AAUW whole not only amplifies our one AAUW voice, but it makes certain that the right people know and are listening. After extensive lobbying and urging from us and a call-in day at our 2013 National Convention, President Obama signed two executive orders in 2014 that will help close the gender pay gap. And voters listened in 2014 when AAUW shared its views on ballot measures in 10 states. We won in nine locations, including victories for higher minimum wage and paid sick days. AAUW was also instrumental in the creation of the It's On Us campaign to address the epidemic of campus sexual violence. The 114th Congress has reached a new milestone with 104 elected women on Capitol Hill. And yet, that record-breaking number is still less than 20% of the members of Congress. We've celebrated so many successes, including many members who hold elected and appointed office. But there are so many hurdles left. Despite more than 15 years of advocacy and debate, Congress still has not passed the Paycheck Fairness Act. The highly visible 2014 Hobby Lobby decision saw the U.S. Supreme Court rule against the protection of women's access to contraceptive health care. It will take one AAUW to ensure that women are not systematically stripped of rights they fought for and won. Today, women make up the majority of college students, except in the STEM fields, and nearly half the students in professional schools. 
but are still paid on average just 78 cents for every dollar men are paid. Start Smart and Work Smart, both of which were recently fully acquired by AAUW, are powerful salary and benefit negotiation workshops that educate women on their earning potential. They also show recent graduates the absolute necessity of having an organization like AAUW that keeps its finger on the nation's pulse. An organization nimble enough to react quickly when new challenges arise, as we've done since our inception in 1881. But what other AAUW programs are addressing the challenges of today? The United States ranks 69th among countries with the highest percentage of women in government. 69th. Studies also indicate that women need to be repeatedly asked to run as many as seven times before they will seriously consider holding a public office. Elect Her is the only program in America that trains women to run and win an elected position on their campus. Why does this matter? Because it's proven that when women hold office on campus, they are more likely to run for public office in their communities later in life. If women in local government indeed tend to advance social issues, then elect her is a critical part in that process. Programs such as Start Smart, Work Smart, and Elect Her have proven to make a real difference, but they are only part of the vast workings that comprise one AAUW. The progress of women in general, and women in science in particular, has not been swift or easy. Some of the most critical advances in science have been made by women, yet credited to men. Women are woefully underrepresented in the STEM fields. AAUW's own Why So Few validated the importance of igniting a STEM spark in middle school girls, making the pursuit of further learning and eventually a career in the sciences far more likely. The many programs offered by AAUW branches at the local level have proven just how necessary that early introduction is. Two of these were brought to national prominence during the past two years, affording all AAUW states and branches the ability to encourage the middle school girls in their community to achieve their STEM dreams. A spark at a local level impacting the national workforce. Yet again, the power of one AAUW. Tech Trek, a one-week science camp held on college campuses, pioneered in California and proven to drive results, is now available to the girls of your AAUW community. Tech Savvy, coming out of Buffalo, is a day-long conference involving girls and their parents and has also proven to be a cultural climate changer for middle schoolers in communities across the country. AAUW has also proven to be a nationally recognized force by a number of corporate giants such as AT&T, Verizon, Symantec, Alcoa, and Samsung to name just a few, who have all worked in conjunction with AAUW to expand our reach and bring additional resources to this middle school population. The educational programs of AAUW are just one way to extend the reach of our one AAUW. AAUW was born on the campuses of this country, and it's where we continue to expand our reach, make a difference, and share our dreams of a better tomorrow. 
More than 900 colleges and universities comprise the AAUW-CU network and span the globe from Australia National University to Brescia University in Canada. 900 institutions, but one AAUW. How? By giving these schools a vast network to share problems, vision, and solutions. It takes a village, and AAUW knows how to build them. What problems do today's institutions face? The high cost of education discourages many from completing, if not starting, their journey to a degree. And the pay gap ensures women have a harder time paying back their loans. Sexual assault on campus is an epidemic addressed daily in the evening news and new AAUW-inspired laws need to be effectively implemented. Again, AAUW, research, advocacy, and education converge to attack these problems. Encourage the universities in your communities to become part of the incredible resource that is AAUW. Education encompasses a great part of the work that goes on under various AAUW roofs. From the most basic form of providing substantive graduate funding to our educational programming around salary negotiation and how to run for office, to the most fundamental level of ensuring that women know their rights, education is at the heart of the work of AAUW. How do we ensure that women know their rights? AAUW's legal advocacy work focuses on providing support to plaintiffs in precedent-setting cases. Once limited to the domain of tenure and other campus discrimination cases, AAUW realized that by taking on lawsuits such as Dukes versus Walmart and sexual assault in the military, we are ensuring that these people get justice. Being an informed voter is also critical in enacting sweeping changes. AAUW members work hard locally and nationally to ensure that people are educated on issues affecting women and their families across the country. Washington Update, The Two Minute Activist, our legal advocacy Supreme Court webinars, and the social media efforts of members all contribute to educating and empowering women. Knowledge is indeed power. We've talked so much about AAUW at home, but what role does AAUW play outside the boundaries of the U.S.? AAUW has a rich legacy of international work and our efforts have intersected with world history in fascinating ways. AAUW is one of hundreds of non-governmental organizations at the United Nations, but we're one of the few that have consultative status, which means that AAUW can participate and make comments in meetings while other organizations are only allowed to attend. AAUW is making sure that UN policies include women and girls. We are signing relevant documents and submitting research for the Commission on the Status of Women. Through our international fellowships and grants, we've helped more than 3,000 women from 134 countries, in addition to the 9,000 women funded in the U.S. to achieve educational dreams that had seemed to them to be out of reach. AAUW also funds projects that address the needs of women and girls in communities around the world. These grants fund the ideas and practical solutions that women propose to common problems and make them a reality. A reality with long-lasting, life-changing consequences for those they assist. AAUW's work is found on many continents, but it's still one AAUW. Although we have come so far, many daily injustices still threaten women's success safety and accomplishment. 
We have much more work to do, and no other organization is better positioned than AAUW to elevate this country to the next level of women's achievement. We know that for every injustice that reaches our televisions, email, or social media screens, thousands of women confront bias, discrimination, and even abuse without media attention. So long as women bump up against glass ceilings, so long as equal work is not met with equal pay, and so long as women hold a disproportionately low number of leadership positions, AAUW will continue to fight injustice and promote opportunity, success, and well-being for all women. We cannot know what tomorrow's most urgent challenges for women will be, but we do know that standing together, AAUW members will be ready to meet them. One AAUW working for all women.